style and makeup rules. There are none. Learn how to be you. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to talk about style and makeup rules and the fact that there aren't any. There shouldn't be any. You are free to be you. We're not cookie cutters. We're all individuals. We all have our own taste. So I'm going to give you my tips and the things that I believe in as far as style and makeup. Before I get started, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, ring that bell for future notifications, give me a like if you like it, it really helps my channel grow, and leave me a comment on your style. Number one, you don't have to follow trends. I know many people say, well, this is what's in style now, or this is the new trend. And sometimes you may feel kind of obligated or like you're supposed to follow that trend. But you don't have to. That's not a rule. If it doesn't suit you, your own sense of style, your personality, don't do it. I don't follow trends because I have my own style. The things I don't like as far as trends are like the pants that are like jeans or pants, but they don't come to the ankle. Now, they're not the um, capri pants, you know, the mid-cap. They're like short pants. They're just a couple inches above the ankle. And you may love that and think it's stylish, and that's fine if you do, you wear it because it makes you feel good. I, I just feel uncomfortable. I feel like I bought pants that are too short. I don't like that look on me. It may look fine on other people, but it doesn't on me, so I'm not doing it. And any other kind of trends, whether it be a certain print or a certain style or a certain jacket that everybody's wearing, like moto jackets. I don't own one of them. I think they're so cute, but it's not necessary for me. I can do fine without a moto jacket. That doesn't interest me. But if you like them, wear them. Do what you want to do. Flat shoes. I can't wear flat shoes. Number one, I can't walk in them. And number two, I just don't like the way they look on me. They look great on other people, but not on me. So if you like the flat shoes, there's so many cute styles, like the ballerina styles and everything, wear them. But if you don't, you don't have to be on trend. You just have to be you and what works for you. Number two. Be yourself and rock your own style, not somebody else's style. You know, when we try to be like someone else or like everybody else or what we see in the magazines and what's in style, what's on trend, if it's not you, it's not going to look right. It really isn't. You're not going to be comfortable in it. And part of looking good and the style you're wearing is that you can wear it with confidence and you feel comfortable in what you're wearing. Now, for example, skirts. I love skirts. I like short skirts. Now, I'm not talking super short, but above the knee. Some people think at my age, which is 69 and almost three quarters. Yeah, it is 69 and three quarters. That, oh, I'm too old to wear a short skirt or a skirt above the knee. No, I'm not. Who said that I am? Who put an age on the length of a skirt? 
Those are old timey ideas that I don't buy into. And that's what I'm comfortable in. I don't like the look of a skirt or a dress that hangs right to the middle of the knee or right below the knee. I don't mind a long dress or a short dress, but I don't like that in between. And like skorts, now they look really short. And you wish you could wear a sign saying, this isn't a mini skirt, it's a skort. There's shorts underneath you know, but people may look at you and think, now look at that lady wearing that short mini skirt. No, it's shorts with a little skirt over it. But I don't care what people think. I can't control it. I can't stop it. And I love skorts, so I'm going to wear them. The same with shorts. Some people feel that at a certain age, Whatever that number is, it could be over 50, over 60, whatever you think, that you shouldn't wear shorts anymore. You should wear the shorts that come to the knee or just capri pants. And maybe you like those and you that's what you choose to wear because maybe you don't like your legs. I don't care what my legs look like. I like shorts. And I, I don't like short shorts like Daisy Dukes or something like that, but I do not like them to the knee or I like them, you know, a much shorter than the knee. And that's what I'm comfortable in. That's what suits my sense of style. And so that's what I'm going to wear. Number three, some people say when you reach a certain age that you should stick to neutrals, neutral colors and more solids. I don't feel that way for myself. That is not my personal style. I love color. I love pastel colors the most. And I, I wear what I like. And I'm not a, a neutral person. And the same with prints. If I like a flower top, I'm wearing a flower top. I don't have to stick to a solid only. If I like a striped top, I'm going to wear a striped top. Next is hair. Some people like to follow the trends. And if you do, that's fine. Whatever's uh, popular right now, whatever they're showing on TV or in magazines and all that, if you can rock it, go for it. But you don't have to. I, I don't because mainly I can't. My hair is difficult, unmanageable, can't do a whole lot with it. So I just wear the way that it suits me. If you want to wear color in your hair, and I don't just mean color your roots. I mean have purple hair or a blue streak or whatever. It doesn't matter what your age is. I'll give you a perfect example. Sandra Hart from the channel um, Over 60 with Sandra. Beautiful, beautiful lady. And one time in one of her videos, and I believe she's 82, but in one of her videos, she felt like having pink hair one day. So she sprayed in pink hair color. It looked beautiful and fun and sassy and pretty. And I love that. I love that about her, that she felt free to do it because she wanted to. And you can too. You can do whatever you want at any age with your hair. You don't have to have short hair. Some people feel if you're older, maybe over 65, well, then it's time to go to the short hair because now you're an old lady. No way. That kind of thinking is long gone. If you can rock a short hairstyle, a cute pixie, I think they're adorable. Go for it. But if you choose to have yours long, if you want to wear it in a ponytail, pigtails, braids, whatever, age is not attached to that. Number six, I want to talk about makeup. Now, if you watch a lot of uh, beauty YouTube videos, people are always 
telling you, trying to help on how to look better, how you should apply your makeup for your age, you know, for your mature face. And I watch the videos, and, and I love watching beauty videos. But some of them I watch, the girls are 40 or maybe 45, and they're talking about how to apply makeup for mature skin, for aging skin, for hooded eyes, for saggy skin, and things like that. And maybe, I mean, they feel that way because their face is different at 40 or 45 than it was at 20 or 25. But that application isn't going to apply to somebody that's going to be 70 in May, like me. <laughs> I mean, if they're talking about a mature face, mine must be ancient because I can't use their tips and techniques with the outer V and all that, you know, comes out. I don't need that. I need to go up. I don't need anything going out or dragging me down. So the tips that may work for you if you're 40, 45, 50, 55, whatever video you're watching and it's age uh, tied in close to your age, you can do those tips and things. When you get to be 69, you can't. They're just not applicable. And that's okay. I, I'm fine with the way that I look. I, I can't wear an eyeliner. Well, I don't know how to put one on. I've tried and it looks awful. But I don't wear an eyeliner. I don't do no outer V. I don't wear full coverage makeup. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I like a light coverage. I don't care for powder. Highlight just doesn't work for me at my age. Now, I can highlight up here, but I use a lip balm or Vaseline, something like that. That's what works best for me. So you have to do what works best for you. There is no rule that you have to follow when you're applying your makeup. And last, number seven, how many videos have you seen that say, ways to look 10 years younger, tips to take 10 years off your face, Oh, I've, I've seen a lot, and I click on them. <laughs> I click on them, because I think I'm going to learn something magical. I'm not, and I don't. You know, I can, first of all, I can't do some of the tips because of my age. It's just not applicable to me. And second of all, why do we have to try to look younger? Aren't we good enough? the way that we are? Can't we just accept ourselves for the age that we are and do the best we can, do our own thing, and feel good about it? Feel confident, feel pretty, feel beautiful. You don't have to look in the mirror and say, uh, this doesn't look so good. I don't look 10 years younger. You don't have to look 10 years younger. Just try to look your best self. Well, those are the things that I wanted to discuss today as far as style, makeup, and rules. Because for me, there are no rules. I'm not going to play by any rules. I'm going to do what works best for me. And I hope that you feel that you can do what works best for you. Well, now I'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip that's going to tie in with all this. My inside beauty tip is quite simple. And that is just be you. You will never be more attractive, more put together than you are when you are just being you. Just be yourself. That is the most attractive you will ever be. Embrace your age. Embrace your wisdom. Embrace who you are. The beauty of you 
we may have wrinkles now at a certain age or, or lines or fine lines or sagginess or dry hair. I mean, it can go on and on. But you know what? By being you, by showing your true character, by having a beautiful heart, by being kind, by smiling, by having a sparkle in your eyes, and by going out there with complete confidence in who you are with your style and your look, you couldn't be any more beautiful. I thank you so much for joining me today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya.